Hello viewers, so I'm going to taking you through the story of A-Level Physics Paper 2. And this video, we're going to go through the part of capacitors and, the, and that part will be joining two capacitors in a circuit. So this video is still for students in both Senior 5 and Senior 6 offering physics as part of their combination. So before we proceed, let's first look at the course outline for this paper. So physics paper 2 is divided in two four parts. The first part is geometrical optics where two questions come and one a student must answer one. Physical optics, two questions come and from this and the student must answer one. Then electrostatics and electricity, three questions come and also magnetism and alternating current, three questions come. So here you can choose to, to, to answer two from this part and one from this part to make the five questions. Or you choose one from this part and two from this part to make the five questions. So any is okay. So in this video, we have already covered the four parts. This part was covered, this was covered, this was covered, and this has been covered. So in this video, we are going to cover the fifth part of the calculations, which is joining two capacitors. So if you need complete notes, they are available in the book called Mastering Elevator Physics Paper 2. It contains notes, worked examples, and try questions for all the parts of Physics Paper 2. But on this YouTube, we shall be interested in the part of worked examples inside this book so now we shall start our topic joining two capacitors in a circuit so when two capacitors are joined together charge flows until the PD across the two capacitors is the same so charge will flow until the PD is the same and when and and as this charge is flowing it will generate some heat and that heat will cater for the loss of energy so that's why we are saying that loss of energy occurs when the capacitors are connected together and this is due to the production of heat when charge flows in the wires connecting the two capacitors when they are joined so as this charge flows, heat is generated, and that heat generated accounts for the loss of energy. That means energy before connection will be different from energy after connection. So we shall need an illustration. So here what it means is that you will have a capacitor C1, of capacitor C1, which is charged to a PD v1 after charging it you will connect it to an uncharged capacitor of capacitance c2 in and in parallel when they're connected in parallel charge will flow until the pd is the same in both capacitances so this one and this one they all have a pd v2 and that means that here now it will the charge will reduce to chu one and so that this one also acquires a charge chu two. Now because the, the charge from the charge at chu two it has flown from this capacitance of C1 up to this, it implies that when you combine these two, you'll have to get back the original charge. So this charge is equal to this plus this because initially it was two then it reduced in order to charge this other capacitance so that what we need to know is that total charge before connection is equal to total charge after connection then two you need to know that the pd after connecting the pd is the same across both capacitors because it is a parallel arrangement So the following can be concluded. One total charge before connection is equal to total charge after 
connection. Then to PD across both capacitors is the same after connection and to be this V2. Then three is that the capacitors are arranged in parallel. So with that we can go through these questions. Question one came from your name. Two then two paper two question ten D Roman one Roman two and says a twenty microfarad capacitor is charged to forty volt and then connected across an uncharged twenty sixty volt sixty microfarad capacitor. Calculate the potential difference across the sixty microfarad capacitor. So if we are to illustrate, first we have a capacitor of 20 microfarad which is charged to 40 volt. Then from there you connect it to a 60 microfarad uncharged capacitor. When that happens, the PD will come reduced to a PD V2, which we don't know yet. But what we know is that the PD will be the same in both capacitances. And two, we know that the char total charge before connection will be equal to the total charge after connection. Therefore, you come and remember that total charge before connection is equal to total charge after connection. So total charge before connection, we know the total capacitance and also the total PD. So that's why we have here C1, V1. Then here, we need to get the total capacitance because they are in parallel. Total capacitance will be got by adding the 2 to give you this. Then the total PD after connection will be this V2 which you don't know yet. And it is here. Then from there we are going to substitute. So substitute for C1, convert to Farad. Convert, it was microfarad, you convert to Farad. V1 which is this. Then C1, C2 and V2. Now V2 is the only unknown. Meaning we have to simplify and make V2 the subject. So when that happens, V2 will be 10 volt. So that is what they want because they said capture the potential difference across the 60 microfarad capacitor. So because they're in parallel, P2 will be the same. And that's what they wanted. Then question 2 came from UNEB 2019, paper 2, question 10c, and says, a 60 microfarad capacitor is charged from a 120 volt supply. It is then connected across the terminals of a 20 microfarad capacitor. Calculate Roman 1, the final PD across the combination, and Roman 2, the difference in the initial and final energy, energy stored in the capacitors, and comment on the differences. So first we can illustrate. That is before connection, then after connection it will be this. So the PD across the co af after connection is one they want and that will be v2 so shall still for the same procedure total charge before is equal to total charge after then we quote the formula for total charge before and also total charge after and equate the two then we substitute after substituting v2 is the only unknown so you have to simplify and then make v2 the subject and that's what they wanted for roman one then Roman 2, they want the difference in the initial and final energy stored in the capacitors. So they want total energy before connection and total energy after connection. The good thing for each, we have C and V, meaning we can use a half CV squared. So total energy before connection, we shall use a half C1 V1 squared. So substitute for C1 and for V1 squared to give you this as the energy before. What about after connection? After connection still we, have, we shall get use a half CV. So this will be the total capacitance and the PD, total capacitance PD to give you this. 
Then they said you get the difference in energy. So difference in energy will be good by subtracting the two to give you this. And after that, they told you to account for the difference, to comment on the difference. So she'll come and say that the final energy stored is less than the initial energy. And this is because some energy is lost as heat in the connecting wires when the capacitors are joined together. I think that's what we already explained at the starting part. Then question 3 came from your name, 2011 paper 2, question 10c, Roman 2 and Roman 3. It says, a 10 microfarad charged capacitor, a 10 microfarad charged to 200 volt is connected across an uncharged 50 microfarad capacitor. Calculate the total energy stored in both capacitors before and after connection. Then account for the difference in the energies calculated in Roman 1. So still we shall follow the same procedure. We shall illustrate. That is before connection, then after connection. Then we shall remember that. We shall remember that. Total charge before connection is equal to total charge after connection. Then we squat the formula, substitute, simplify, and get the PD they wanted. So they wanted the total energy before connection, which is that. So quote the formula, substitute, and use a calculator. What about after connection? So, quote the formula, substitute, and then use a calculator. Then they wanted to account for the difference. So, we shall come and see the difference in the total energy stored in both capacitors before and after is due to the energy lost as heat in the connecting wires when capacitors are joined, as simple as that. Then question 4 came from your neighbor, 1996, paper 2, question 9b, and says, A 6 microfarad capacitor is charged from a 100 volt supply. It is then connected across the terminals of a 15 microfarad uncharged capacitor. Rem calculate Roman 1, the final PD across the combination, and Roman 2, the difference in the initial and final energy stored in the capacitors, and comment on the difference. So the format of the questions will always be the same in this part. So still we shall follow the same procedure. First is to illustrate. That is before, then after we also illustrate. Then from there we shall remember that total charge before is equal to total charge after. Then we shall quote the formula, then substitute. After that, we shall simplify and then get the PD they want. So the procedure is always the same. So that was Roman 1. Roman 2, they wanted the difference in the initial and final energy and comment. So total energy before connection, quote the formula, substitute, use a calculator to give you this. Then also total energy after connection, quote the formula, substitute, use a calculator. Then the difference will be that, subtract to give you that. Then also comment. So comment will always be the same. Final Energy stored is less than the initial energy, and this is because or oh, some heat is lost, some energy is lost as heat in the connecting wires when the capacitors are joined. So that brings us to the this video. Thank you for watching and be reminded the next video will be on dielectrics in capacitors. So if you have not yet subscribed, please 
click on the subscribe button below this video so you can receive updates when the next video has been uploaded also if you know any student who is not yet on this platform please share the link of this video with them via social media platforms like facebook and whatsapp so that we can all benefit as a family